After you've done that, it looks like this. Then you're going to want to flip your design so it looks somewhat the same. Then you're going to insert your hook into this here, this band. And you're going to slide a single yellow band onto your hook. And slide it through the first four loops and reclaim the outside one. Sorry, it's getting out of focus a bit. My bad. So now what you're going to want to do after that. So you're going to repeat that same step. Make sure this band doesn't get out of order like I've been saying. And you're going to want to repeat that same step. So insert into this white band here. Then slide a single yellow band through the first four loops and reclaim the outside one. Then you're going to do that. Then you're going to insert into the next stitch here. And then you're going to want to repeat that same step. So go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to close your entire bracelet off. So now once you've officially done that, this is our design, how it looks like. You're now going to want to reclaim these loops here, the ones that are on this white band. Then you're going to want to kind of remove your capping band. So actually, I'm going to carefully remove my C-clip or your capping band. I just slip knot it. I just kind of changed up the bands a bit. So carefully slip knot everything. Carefully <laughs> attach these four loops on your hook. And then you can just slide away that white band. Then you're going to carefully collect this yellow band here. Then you're going to claim this outside band. So it looks like this, our overall design. Then what you're going to want to do is slide a single yellow band for your fishtail color band, basically. Slide it through all these loops and reclaim your finished bracelet. Then you're going to take a single C-clip, then you're going to attach it on to these two loops, basically. So then attach that on. Then you're going to unclip and set your hook to the side. So this is our final design. This is how it overall looks like. And sorry, it's, everything's getting kind of out of focus here. But this is our overall design. So our loops should look like this, and they shouldn't look kind of crowded i'll show you a design that i did this was the first part that i was doing basically when i started this bracelet so basically you do not want your design looking like this this was a big mess up here you want to make sure you slip knot your white bands well and make sure they look officially neat and careful as you do that so don't want it looking like this you want it absolutely looking like these two designs so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure, like I said, use those hashtags here if you make this bracelet. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, use these hashtags. I'll put them in the link down below in the description box. And um, if you want, be sure to go follow me. I have an Instagram too, and I'll put those two um, Instagram accounts. I have actually two, a main account and a spam account. So go follow those accounts and definitely go be sure to go follow Bex underscore Eleanor 23 and at Bex Eleanor underscore, wait, ah, at Bex underscore Eleanor underscore spams. So if, like I said, make this bracelet, use this hashtag here on the top and use these other two hashtags. And anyways, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I have definitely way more tutorials coming soon in the future. So be sure to go be on the lookout for those two tutorials. And I have other ones, but I'm not going to show them today. I'll show them in the next video. Oh, and by the way, I give an absolute shout out to this person here. So like I said, of course, big shout out to at Bex underscore Eleanor 23 for allowing me to do this tutorial. And a shout out to at Bo Loomer. Go follow her account. It's at Bo Loomer, and she has a YouTube channel, so I'll put that in the link in the description box down below. So be sure to go follow those two amazing people. They're super wonderful and sweet and kind. They have amazing videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Well, actually, Bex, uh, yeah, never mind. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and talk to you guys later. Be sure to